Do championship belts matter in wrestling? Clearly not in the WWE's eyes as they change the prestigious championships into the ones that look like candy, different colors of, of, of candy, yeah. Instead of World Heavyweight Championship, we have a different version of the WWE title with it being red and that's something that they, they, they really did. But then again, after success of Universal title, you can't argue with Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Here we go, Nadia. Look at Nadia, look at this. Yeah, we're part of history again. Here we go. Wait for it. Here we go. Are you going to do it or not? WWE Universal Championship. Oh! Oh my God. Are you serious? Another one. Another one. What is going on guys? As always, the great one. And a little while ago, I did this video. Worst WWE Championships that turned out to be fake. Pretty much custom WWE Championships that either were rumored or just looked terrible in general. They looked fucking bad. And that video got a lot of good feedback and a good amount of views. What a YouTuber does when the video gets a lot of views does something similar. And today we're going to look at good looking custom WWE titles that were never really made into a real thing. Whether it's a fan art, whether it's a rumor, uh, you know, you, you get the deal. Yeah. Also, I'm not going to hold my microphone anymore. Hopefully, the audio of this video is uh, pretty nice. Let me know in the comments below. Is it alright? Is it not? Because when you hold it, you know, a little bit closer, it sounds better. But I hope, hopefully, it's 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 better this way because it's really uncomfortable to hold that piece of shit. It looks really terrible. Now, this one right here is a Universal Championship, and some of you may not see any difference. However, it's so much dark, and in, in my honest opinion, it looks better. Like, I'm not a huge fan of the Universal Championship in general, but uh, for some reason, for me, it looks more prestigious and more of a WWE title. The really red one kind of looks a bit more of a toy. I gotta be honest with you. It grew on me. I'm not a hater of Universal Championship anymore. This one right here, but you know, it's still... It will do. It doesn't matter anymore. Talking about championships that were rumored and never actually appeared in the WWE. Remember when the Universal Championship was announced? We're gonna crown the new Universal Champion. Yeah, I hate with Stephanie McMahon. They introduced the Universal Championship, fans booed because it's, it's, you know, it kind of reminds you of period, not very good emotions in general, what am I talking about? But before that, like a couple of weeks, the rumor WWE Championship, Universal Championship was this. Now tell me, does it look better? Yes, it looks so much better. In my honest opinion, it looks like a very prestigious WWE Championship. Now it reminds me of the Eagle Belt that we had in like... 90s, early 90s, I think Bret Hart was holding that championship, uh, HBK. And then they changed it into the newer one, which obviously looks pretty good as well. Like It reminds me of Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. The Rock, the, the way I said it, like, I have the most annoying voice in the world, man. The accent doesn't help either. So this championship, in my opinion, looks really, really good. Let me know in the comments below, would you prefer this one or the Universal? Like even this with this red thing would look so good. Let's step away from the WWE title for a bit and let's jump into the mid-card division and let's talk about the Intercontinental Championship. Intercontinental Championship looks absolutely great. I also loved the previous version, but uh, this one is probably better, it has much more prestige and I think it's one of the only, it's, it's the only title that is left from like the 80s, that's the only title that is left, of course it's changed a bit, it has Wyatt on it, but it still looks pretty great. Now there was a rumor going around that after the brand split they are going to make IC title and the United States Championship look the same. Now while the United States Championship looks good, uh, this is the thing that they offered. Or it was just a custom thing, who knows. In my opinion, it looks really, really good. Like, the Intercontinental Championship is beautiful and they kinda switched it up with the United States title. Now, as much as I like the title, I don't think it's a good idea because the United States Championship is also very beautiful. Not the best title, but, you know, it's different. I think that's the biggest thing that I like. Like, right now we have every title look the same. Women's titles are the same, WWE and Universal titles are the same, tag team titles are the same, all, the only different titles are IC and United States Championship. So even though this championship look is absolutely beautiful, I, I it looks very prestigious, honestly. 
I think it's not a good idea. And these two other championships were also rumored. They look like garbage, especially the Intercontinental. The United States Championship is kind of, you know, alright, but the, the, it's garbage. Now this might be like an unpopular opinion, but when the Universal Championship was revealed, I thought like, man, it would be so great if they would just change it to the black and you would have red in the middle. And this is what exactly happened with a fan art. Like this championship right here looks very beautiful in my opinion. I would go out and say that this might look better than the WWE Championship. I always love red and black in the championship wrestlings and I love that the WWE logo has this black thing and in the middle you have red instead of the whole title being red so it's kinda, so it kinda looks like there is much more work put into this championship even though let's be honest it's just a ripoff of the WWE title anyway. Now let's jump to the WWE Championship because Raw has a red one why don't we make Smackdown 1 into this? This right here is a WWE title with blue and it's exactly like I showed you with the red one but it's the red one and it's, it's blue and I gotta be honest it doesn't look as good as the red one even though blue is my favorite color but I do think the title looks good in general however I don't want this to happen. WWE title just keep it the, the way it is or change the whole design but keep it the way it is you don't know don't know. Let's talk about another division, the cruiser weight division, where a bunch of talent are wasted. A lot of them. Let's let's get honest out here. Now the cruiserweight championship is, in my opinion, is beautiful. It looks good, but can you make it look a little bit better? <coughs> yes. This is the cruiserweight championship changed into black, and in my opinion, it looks absolutely great and much more prestigious. Even though I like that it's unique, it's purple. I would prefer this one because, you know, it, it's, it's, I don't like this thing where cruiserweights are this separate thing. If you would have like interaction between Seth Rollins and some cruiserweight, people would know about that cruiserweight. Of course he, of course most of the time he would lose, but people would give a crap because there's Seth Rollins, okay, I might give a shit about this match and oh, I, I, I know about this cruiserweight guy right now, I might be a fan. For someone like me, at first I couldn't even watch cruiserweight division, I would skip most of it. So I would personally love to see cruiserweights being their own division, however sometimes you see some interactions and get rid of purple shit. Get rid of these purple robes, these purple titan trons, make it feel like they are home. And the first way to do it is just to give that championship to Enzo Amori or whatever to make it look like he's the champ. If you guys been watching me for a while, you know what championship is my favorite of all time. World title, intercon, it doesn't matter. I, I, I will let you guess. Yes, the, the World Heavyweight Championship, the big gold title that was in WCW and then it was in the WWE with a little bit, you know, changed version. Now this one right here is a white version of this championship with a white strap. And in my opinion, it looks pretty, pretty good. And this one right here looks even better with the red ones instead of blue. There is another picture of this beautiful thing. It reminds me of the Intercontinental Championship and it looks pretty nice. It's not as good as the black one, let's be honest out here. But still, do you guys remember the ECW Championship? Well, it looked nice to me for some reason. A lot of people hated it. I thought it looks nice. However, what it lacked is gold. Because if you are a world champion, ECW world champion, you kind of expect some gold. It doesn't look. It didn't look like a world championship. It always looked like a mid card title. Now this one right here is an edited version, which is golden right now, and it looks pretty nice. It looks more prestigious. And this one right here, which I think it's too much color for like it should be a little bit more gray. So these are my opinion, best custom or rumored or just fake WWE titles in WWE's history. Some of them are good, however, it, it doesn't mean necessarily that they should change the current ones into these because the current ones are also very beautiful. They're all the same. That's right, so make sure to follow me on Twitter. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram, all of the links are in description. I need uh, 10,000 uh, Twitter followers by the end of... No, it, it's not possible. In like 5 months and 2,000 Instagram, I have 1,000 and on Twitter I have 6,000. So if anyone can help me out, thank you very much. The Great One, peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure.